Hello. It's time to ship a few things. Everything is small today. I'm pretty excited. And I will show you how to ship a coffee mug in a padded flat rate envelope. Yes, in an envelope. All right, let's get going. I'm going to tell you what sold, how much it sold for, and you get to see me package it up. So let's go. stuff today. This makes me happy. I don't have very much because I actually packaged some stuff up on Saturday, which I did not film. I can't film everything. I ship too much, uh, but I try to film as much as I can. Okay, so let's just start with this little guy here. This is a storyteller. Uh, this one still had its original price tag. These are sold as souvenir items like on reservations and such i sold this for 14.99 on an offer to watcher now a lot of people will say but you left that 12 dollars on there most collectors know that that was the price 10 or 20 years ago when this item was originally offered for sale so it's worth more than that sometimes not but most often things go up in value as they age. So uh, she was worth the $14.99 and let's get her packaged up. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we start with our bubble wrap. And I'm kind of double folding it over on the part that has all the little kids on it, which is the most vulnerable part that will have the heaviest cushioning. Let me find you a little box. I think one of these little six by four by four should work just fine. Maybe I'll get through the rest of this tape today. I'm getting down, I'm getting down to almost being done with it. So first I'm going to like just see what I have room for peanut wise. And then I'm going to throw a little layer of peanuts on the bottom and finish it off on top. I just put way too many in here so I could just finish it off over here. With that, I'm going to go over there again. Okay, so scooching you down in there, pressing you down a little bit on those peanuts, and then I'm going to pack these peanuts in all around. <laughs> They're sticking to me. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Right, you are in. Let's see. No, nope, I still need a couple more because I want to be able to have to really squish that down. So one more little handful, including the escapee. Yeah, that's much better. I want to press that down. I gotta get this done this morning because I schedule my carrier pickup the night before. So I have to get this done before my USPS carrier comes by. Sometimes I tend to lounge around outside with my critters a little too long on Monday mornings, which is when I'm filming this. Okay. Let's do our nice little Jablonski. So uh, this was a recent purchase you might have seen on one of my thrifting finds. I picked it up off the shelf because it just was interesting. And that's what I kind of tell you guys to do is look at things. Look at everything that draws you because you just never know. And what I ended up finding was not only did it have the Jablonski sticker, but it's also signed on the bottom, which I don't know if you can see. Yeah, sometimes just can't get those angles right. Trust me, it's signed. Uh, so this is a really nice piece. And I sold it for $49.99. So we will wrap this one up very nicely. Not that I don't 
don't wrap everything up nicely. It's just, you might get a little bit extra <laughs> bubble wrap if it goes over, you know, 30 bucks. Plus, this one has that very vulnerable little point to it that I do not want broken. And in fact, I may, this may be one of those ones, yes, where's one of my pieces, that I will wrap another piece of cardboard around just for that strength on that part of it because it can't hurt. Then I will fold this over and tape it onto there so it doesn't come up. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't come off. And I'll probably just do some tape to tape. Make sure that stays on there. Boom. Love my tape to tape. Might even do it on this side too. There we go. I do it until I feel really good that I can drop it and not break everything else on the table because that was really stupid. Um, <laughs> and it's going to be okay. Now, I don't know if a number four is wide enough. I'm going to see. Mm, nope, I'm not, real, I'm not real comfortable with that. Too tight on that little point. I'm going to use the shoebox. Going to use the shoebox. just because it's going to give me that extra protection on that point. And this is going to fit down right in here. And we may actually reduce the size once I see how the peanuts look inside. I've got my first little layer of peanuts in there. And we'll set it down in there like so. And now I'm going to fill some more peanuts. Okay. So I, I don't need to cut any down. When deciding whether to do that or not, it's based on the time element to cut it down versus just the cost of adding some more peanuts. And, and this, it was just not much of a significant difference in this case. And it's super protected now. I am 99.9% .9 confident this piece is going to make it without any problems. And that's what I want. I want that confidence in my packaging. And yes, I am OCD about fastening everything shut so these boxes never have a chance of coming open during shipping. All right. Next, let's do our little horsies. I absolutely still just love these. You may have seen me recently get these. I put them on auction for $14.99, and they sold for the opening bid, and that happens a lot. So I am I think it's one of you that got these, right? Let me know in the comments if it was you, because I'm really excited you got them, because I know you were looking at them. All right. Let me get some bubble wrap. I still just, I never did really find out anything more about them. So if anybody knows, I mean, look at the, look at the glaze. I mean, the glaze is fantastic. I love these. I love them so much, which is why I bought them. I actually paid a little more for them than I normally would a salt and pepper. You know what? I'm going to give you each your own sheet. Sometimes I'll put salt and peppers in the same sheet, and I'm not going to do that this time. There's one. Somebody suggested that I start making little TikTok videos of some of my packaging and 
I really keep my TikTok, yes, I make TikTok videos, uh, for, for like just my fun, I'm keeping it fun and it's my animals. Maybe I should do little, little snippets of animal related products that I don't know. What do you guys think? Anybody out there a TikToker? And do you think it's really going to go away? I don't think so. I don't have quite the right box for these, but I have this box here. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, if I can get peanuts. No, nope, it's not. It's not thick enough. We're going to do something else. I think what I might do is put two of these together. Let's see if that works. Let's find out. For once again, I somehow didn't order a size box that I need. I'm going, why? I really would like the 6x6x6, six by six by six, but I have 6x4x4. By four by four. So, I can put a couple of these together. So, let me get some peanuts. And the one. And the two. Yep, I'm going to be able to put two of these together. So, let's do that. These should be able to go first class. Yep. Look at that. Oh, and then it's actually like got some extra extra protection. If I can get it on there. Now, as I say that, it's not cooperating. Come on, baby. There we go. I'm up here in that little pop when it finally goes on. There we go. Ha ha ha, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now I gotta finish off my peanuts. Not too bad of a Franken box. I am going to go around these edges because I don't want anything catching on the machines. Right on. Our little horses are ready to giddy up on their way. All right, horses, horses done. There we go. All right, so I have a mug. Save that. I got these. Now, these are very interesting. I bought these and listed them as perfume bottles, okay? Which they very well can be used as. Uh, so it's not false advertising, but they have a much more special purpose. These actually go to a very, very expensive, fancy hummingbird feeder. Ah, uh, yes, look at that. Little little guys could stick their little beakies in there. Um, yeah, so I hope whoever got them actually might be using it for that. That would be cool, but they're beautiful no matter what you use them for. And they sold for $35 on an offer. Just an offer. I think it was just an offer. Yep, I accepted an offer of $35. I hope somebody knows what they are and is putting their little hummingbird feeder back together. I have a very, very special place in my heart for hummingbirds. And in fact, I have one that scolds me if the feeder gets empty. He literally, because I'm out, you know, taking care of my critters every morning. So he comes down and he chatters right in my face and I look over and sure enough, the feeder's empty. I think... They are smart little birds, for sure. Birds are smart anyway. You know what? Like one and a half sheets would be perfect. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna one and a half of this. There we go. We have birds, we have guinea pigs, we have tortoises, we have dogs. <laughs> and uh, each animal, has their own special way of thinking. <laughs> Some are more manipulative than others, that's for sure. Like, okay, so Scoop, our little lovebird, 
We raised him since he was five weeks old. We finished hand raising him and he's quite a brat. And uh, this morning he was low on seed. He wasn't out of seed. He was just low on seed. I'm going to use one of these. Um, and as I reached in his cage to fill his feeder, he had to come over and give me a little peck on the hand, like a little, little grab bite, not a bite bite, just a grab bite nibble to let me know his displeasure in the fact that uh, I let him almost run out of food. He's hysterical. And then I filled his little bath. He has a little bowl in there, but I did something different. I poured the water in from the outside because I didn't want to take a chance of him coming out and me having to spend a lot of time getting him back in his cage. He's allowed to free roam in the room when Rachel's here, uh, but today was not a good day for that. And so I poured the water in from the top and he flew over and was just having a blast in that little shower. And it's that little stuff that just brings me so much joy in my life. And that is why I have animals. All right, there's my little peanuts. Okay, first layer. You know, you have to make your life have moments like that that make all the hard work worthwhile. Because if all you do is work, 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 and don't enjoy life, you're going to resent your work. Okay. So you can see these are going to squish down in here and have peanuts all around. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay. Now remember, I overfill because I want to squish down and make sure everything stays in place. And this is whoop, perfect, except for the little escapees. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what I want it to do. Because I do that, that's one of the reasons I go both ways, too, because I have put a bit of a strain on that lid staying down, so I just want to make sure the tape is going to hold it. Okay. All right. The moment you've been waiting for. The Everything Hurts and I'm Dying mug sold for $14.99. I knew this mug would sell. I just knew it. I just knew it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is a little unorthodox. First I'm going to bubble wrap it, of course. Now remember, your weak point on any mug is your handle. So you want to make sure the most amount of padding is on that handle. So there we go. All right, and these are my other little pieces. I'm going to give it a little bit extra support. Okay, just like I did that other piece, I'm going to take the weak part. Now what I'm going to do, now it doesn't fit in this box, or does it? Let me see. Maybe it will. That I look at it. There's two ways I do this. If I have a box the right size, I will just put it in the box. If I don't have a box the right size, I will make make a box. You know what? This is good enough. All right. Now I actually could do the trick I did on the last one, and I could put another box on this, but I'm not going to because I've already protected that handle. So I know this looks weird. I know you guys are going like, what is she doing? What is she doing? I'll show you. I'll show you. Gosh, if I could just get the tape to uh, cooperate a little bit so I can use two hands. There we go. All right. That's on there. I don't want this popping open inside of the padded flat rate envelope. Okay, we've got... Lots of protection. 
Now, the magic happens because this box fits inside the envelope. Now, I wouldn't do this with like a super delicate item because, well, it's a super delicate item and you need more padding. But a coffee mug is pretty darn sturdy and I have literally shipped hundreds, hundreds like this and never had one break. Now, should I knock on wood because it can always happen? Yeah, maybe, but I'm very confident that this is going to make it. It's fully protected, guys. It's fully protected. And that is our shipping for the day. That's not so pain, painful. It's only, yeah, it's only 90 degrees in here too. I beat the heat wave. I really, I, I'm looking forward to the end of summer. I am for shipping purposes. Other than that, I'm okay with it. All right, guys, go be profitable. Make it fun. See you on the next one.